Well, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we defeated the almighty Yin Yarn and restored peace to Dreamland. And in this episode, back here in Dreamland, we got ourselves a patch for getting a good rank on Yin Yarn. So how about we toss it? This is probably the funniest animation we've seen yet. Look at this. How is he even lifting that thing? Aww, Waddle Dee. And then he just walks on it and somehow flips it over and... I don't even understand physically how that worked, yet I like it. Anyway, Meta Melon Isle. This is one of two bonus levels that you unlock in the post game for having beaten Yin Yang with a good rank. This right here, I'm just going to say this straight up. The two bonus levels that you get in Dreamland are hands down the two best bonus levels you get in the game. Hands down, they save the two best bonuses for last. And the other bonus levels are pretty damn good. So I hope you're ready for some pretty damn good levels. I've said pretty damn good quite a few times. Anyway, so Metamelon Island, great island, lots of space to walk around in. And my battery's low. I'll be right back. All right, the battery problem is in order. So now let's acknowledge the other obvious elephant in the room and pull off this. And we get ourselves a Metamortex to become Truck Kirby. All right, so we're actually not going to be racing against truck monsters this time. It is the only time in Kirby's Epic Yarn that you ever do this, where you are in truck form and yet you do not race against truck monsters. I know. So we're using a form that we have previously had in a new and different way. Well, kind of. It's not entirely new, and it doesn't really bring like new gameplay to the table. But hey, it. Wow. Um, that was bad. Uh, let's grab that, and okay. Check it out! We've been launched right into a fire engine Kirby Metamortex. So, now we are going to be using, if you haven't guessed what this level is by now, I don't know what's wrong with you, but hey. Um, if you haven't guessed by now, we are going to be using different forms that we have used previously on our adventure, but use them in new and different ways. There are some Abnacondas. We have some Magma Thomas, which I actually didn't say their official name back when I saw them last time, and I never acknowledged them otherwise. So now you know their official name. Uh, you want to shoot down beads while the ground is solidified by your water. You also are going to want to beat any Amicon, as you see, because of course, right there, you get a collectible. The palm chair, the coconut chair is actually a comfortable cushion for your head. I could believe coconuts being soft and comfortable in games. I mean, after all, the character in Animal Crossing just eats coconuts with the shell on like it ain't no thing. And we get launched right into here. We're now going to be Dolphin Kirby. So I got to really be sure not to screw up on this, though, because I never complimented the controls on the buggy, so it's okay for me to screw up on that. But if I screw up on this, people are going to blame it entirely on me and not on the game, because I've said countless times this controls like a dream. So, let's see. And I don't want to admit that I'm bad at a game. I want to blame the game for everything, because I'm 10 years old. Okay. Case in point, that was only games for. Okay, no, not really. I, I will admit that was a bit of a jerkish enemy placement, but then again, to be fair, the screen doesn't really scroll. Um, you know, the screen scrolling up in this game, you can't really help some of it. You know, so I'm not really hating on it too much. Anyway, the train is late. Yes, the train is late because we have to go pick up a bunch of uh, train cars. We have some train cars that have some robots in them. There are several of these for you to collect in this level. And I am going to get all three of them. There's actually only three, actually, now that I think of it. There's not several. Uh, so it's a bit easier than other train levels, I'll say that much. Uh, we got ourselves the Big Dipper in the form of a beat constellation right here, which is kind of cool. So we grab that. I'm going to grab this. And this time I want to go down. Because two of the cars and one of the collectibles is actually down here. I know, it's kind of jerkish placement, and they kind of clumped all this... Collectibles together. See, an ice cream sculpture from another tropical paradise I have yet to visit. Ooh, maybe a reference to a future Kirby game. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe not. This is actually the reason why you have an ice cream collectible in this level is because the music in this level is from the classic Kirby level, Ice Cream Island. Um, I thought I should also mention that Butter Building is not in Kirby's Dreamland, it is in Kirby's Adventure. A lot of you corrected me on that um, a couple videos ago in the comments, and I just thought I should acknowledge that. I'm not the greatest Kirby buff in the world, I don't know the most about Kirby, so I was bound to get a classic Kirby reference wrong. I think I actually had to look up what music this level was from because I didn't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but yes, it is Ice Cream Island. Anyway, we are now Astro Duck with a Beer Belly Kirby! No! We are penguin, we are a penguin surfer, yes. You guys pretty much all notified me in the comments that this is a penguin Kirby. I seem to be the only person in the world who didn't understand what this form was supposed to be. 
because almost every comment on that video notified me that it is a penguin. I know, I felt kind of stupid after that, but yes. I think I even showed it to John that day, and he was just like, a penguin, and I'm just like, what, really? Am I really the only person who can get that? He's like, well, I can actually see what you meant, so, yeah. He is not an astronaut duck with a beer belly and a surfer, but honestly, I still don't see the penguin in it. It looks like, if anything, the space helmet I said made me think swimmer's cap on a duck, but I don't know, it's just... Anyway, let's just end this level right here, and if I miss the five stars, I swear to God. I think I got it. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes, I did! Okay! So we got Gold Rank. This can be a bit of a tough level to Gold Rank if you don't pick up the patches, I'll say that much, because they give you just barely enough beats to make it. Oh, baby. We have the almighty Galaxia Sword in our possession. Okay, no, we just have a patch of it. We, they wouldn't be cool enough to actually give us the real sword. You gotta play Kirby's Return to Dreamland for that. You gotta shell out another 50 bucks if you want to play with that sword. Okay. So... Galaxia, I should mention, was originally called Master. I think they changed that so that it wasn't contradictory with the other sword called Master from The Legend of Zelda. But, check it out. We throw the Galaxia sword. Check out what our final level is. Yep! For those of you who love Kirby Superstar, you're gonna have a really fun time in this level. You wanna know why? And no, it's not just because it's Battleship Halverd. It is so much cooler than that. This level is a combination of Revenge of Meta Knight and Milky Way Wishes. Yeah! You get to use Starship Kirby, or Star Shooter as it's called in this game, in Meta Knight's Battleship Halberd level. Yeah! This is probably the coolest throwback for classic Kirby fans. And the thing is, yes, I did play Kirby Superstar as a kid, so even though I'm not necessarily the greatest Kirby fan, I am psyched about this level. This is quite possibly the biggest love letter to old Kirby fans ever. Combining Revenge of Meta Knight with Milky Way Wishes, are you for real? It doesn't get any better than that. Milky Way Wishes is everyone's favorite, and who doesn't love Battleship Hal Baird or Meta Knight for that matter? It's just, it's that damn cool. It's that damn cool. Okay, yeah. So this level is actually a bit challenging. This is one of few levels in the game that I would say are legitimately challenging. Um, these cannons right here, these turrets rather I should say, um, they will home in on you a bit. You get a Galaxia sword for your house there. Yeah, we get to keep that in our house, awesome. Um, I recommend being diagonal from them when you shoot them because they take a little time to reposition themselves and hit upward. That's generally how I tend to avoid getting hit by them. Then again, maybe you don't want to take advice from me because I got hit quite a bit in that first segment, but oh well. Alright, so a lot of you will remember this thing on the ship. You see this in the Super Smash Bros. Brawl stage of uh, Battleship Hal Baird, and this is kind of like the cannon that everyone kind of remembers. It's kind of like a mid-boss in the original game. So, it also has this arm that it shoots out at you, which you can see is down there. It's going to shoot out at us pretty soon. I think it actually will in a second here. So you just want to keep shooting at it, and it didn't actually shoot out the arm at us. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. I swear in previous playthroughs I have had to shoot the arm at me. Maybe if you just take too long it does it. I don't know for sure, but hey. I'm not complaining. We are on freaking Starship Kirby while going through Battleship Halberd. Yeah. I... I love this level just so much. Plus on top of that, I haven't commented on the music yet. You have a pretty damn cool remix of the original Meta Knight music as well in the background. It's just... God, they can't get any more nostalgic for a final bonus level. It's just, this is the ultimate bonus level. This is what every Kirby fan has been waiting for to see in this game, because a lot of Kirby fans were, like, wanting a lot more references to other Kirby games, and I'm guessing they probably didn't play up to this level, because this is just awesome. We get Meta Knight's mask right there, Me uh, Knight Helmet. Putting his mask gives you a sense of mystery and a sense of sitting in the dark. Okay. So we get Meta Knight's mask right there. Um, those of you who have never seen Meta Knight without his mask, yeah, you'd have your mind blown if you had, didn't actually know what he looks like without it. Yeah, because I, I remember I had my mind blown when I saw Meta Knight's face for the first time. Oh my god. I don't even, like I said, this is a level I think everybody remembers playing as a kid. And oh god, I'm not going to get the three-star patch because I went up here to get the beads. Uh, actually, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, Bob the Builder. Of course I do that. 
I don't know why I've been saying Bob the Builder lately in my videos, but hey. And I always go like, can I do it? Yes, I can. I can. There's not really anything else to say when you're wondering if you can do something. So, I don't know, maybe you can do the little engine that you could. What is it that I'm doing all kinds of kid stuff, like, for can I do something? I don't know, it's just... Maybe that's just a message that a lot of kid stuff has in it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just said I don't know, like, three different times, but... Alright, we get the music right there. We get Battleship Halbert, okay? So, it was in Kirby's Dreamland, now we can listen to it here, okay. So, now that we're done with that, we have all the collectibles, we have our gold rank, I don't have the greatest streak in the world, but hey, check it out, we have another mid-boss, whoa, hey buddy, what's up, Chugga Conroy, and you're, don't flame me bro, come on, don't be like that, you don't have to flame me. I don't know, I couldn't really think of anything better to say, and you could tell that I'm don't have much to talk about for this fight if that's all I'm resorting to, so let's uh shoot the middle. Come on, I wanna shoot the core. I don't wanna shoot you. Okay, there we go. We took care of it. So we have yet another mid-boss taken care of, and if I'm not mistaken, yep, we are done playing is Star Shooter Kirby. And I didn't get the five-star patch. I get the feeling it was in that one cannon I didn't destroy, because they pretty much all the collectibles are in cannons. But do that, Prince Fluff, you have done nothing to help me in any of these 50 levels, but hey. You still get to come in and dance at the end. Wish I was like Prince Fluff where I could just jump to the last room in the level and not have to do anything for it. Alright. So with that, we now have every collectible in the game. Nice job, you completed the tunes! Nice job, you completed the medals! Alright, so with every treasure we can get from the levels, I think we are going to end this off here. So next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, because there's going to be one more bonus video, we're not quite done yet, we are going to be returning to Quilty Square. I'm going to be showing off the remaining furniture items that you can obtain from the shops there, as well as fabrics you can obtain. We're going to be doing those mini-games that I said would be sped up in a bonus video, and on top of that, I'd like to return to a few levels and show a few little small details that I didn't show, just simply because I didn't know about them and your comments notified me of them. Alright? Thank you for doing all that. Thank you for your contributions in the form of comments, and for the time being, I'm just going to play on Wispy Woods for a little bit, and I'll see you guys then.